Welcome to Haken, an Animal Crossing podcast, your podcast dedicated to all things Animal Crossing. Episode 121 is brought to you by Monea, one of our newest Patreon patrons. Today, Sergio and I are going to go over the week's countdown questions, discuss our plans between now and the launch of New Horizons, which is very close, and then discuss some of the characters we haven't seen yet. So to begin, hello Sergio, how you doing? Hello Chu, I'm doing rather well. It's been a nice, relaxing week. I feel like this is the last week slash weekend that's going to be peaceful and calm and not filled with crazy stuff, even though it kind of <laughs> already was though. Uh, how are you yeah. doing? Yeah, no, you're totally right. Like, this is it. This is our last week without something like New Horizons in our life. Unless you're, of course, not in North America. But I I guess for everyone, the unique thing here is that we get the Animal Cross... uh, How do you say it? The the New (laughs) Horizons Switch? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So we're getting the New Horizons Switch, or the New Horizons Switch, as we like to call it. (laughs) Um, And, oh, man. So, okay. What's your plan for that day? Like, is it just going to be a work day at that point? It is a work day, and then it's picking it up right after work. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's where I am too. So <laughs> I'm going to work. And then on my drive back, I'm going to pick it up. and I'm just going to run home and open it right away. Yes. <laughs> um, I guess I should probably like set up a camera, make sure it's all charged and everything, make sure I get everything. So it's like a live reaction. Oh, you know? nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll be doing that. And it'll be a good time for sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, Outside of that, I guess I did want to mention before we get too far into the show that the calendar, the Haken calendar, is ready. So many of you picked it up over the last week. It's insane. I do want to warn everyone, there are only 40 calendars left. That is not a lot of calendars. (laughs) So you can, uh, we started with 300. I kind of posted it all over the place. I realized I I feel like I failed you all because I wasn't mentioning it here. But now here's the warning. There there are calendars. There's 40 left. They ship internationally. Um, You can find them on Etsy. If you just search Haken calendar, you should be able to find it. But I've also got a link in the description of the show notes. So you can check that out and, you know, just see if you want it because it's great. Sergio, you got yours recently, right? Yes, it is so good. Yes, it's amazing. Yeah, it's like... 13 super high quality prints that are like Animal Crossing themed. So, yes, I don't know. I we did really well with this calendar, <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be really fun getting to look through it. I'm looking at it right now on my wall, and I'm just counting down those days to the 20th. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> what are we? It's the eighth. So next week, Animal Crossing comes out next week. Yes. <laughs> We're almost there. Um, so yeah, I guess if you order it, um, I tend to ship everything next day unless I get a little too busy. I've got some that I'm, sh- uh, well, I guess for all of you, they will have already shipped at this point <laughs> because it's Sunday for us. But if you order them today, Tuesday, expect to see a notification around Wednesday that I've shipped them. So. Yeah, I, I try to be quick. I'm trying to get these out to everybody before the game comes out. Um, <laughs> international, I can't promise <laughs> that they'll make it right, in right. that quick. But I have found that some of them do get there pretty fast. I have a friend in the UK, Lulu Crossing. She ordered it and she uh, got it in like six days after oh, I shipped it. not bad. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, that's really fast. I feel like that's faster than it got to some people in the States. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, how did that happen? <laughs> so I don't know what what happened some of them have been a little slow here and there but they are on the way don't just keep waiting let me know if it doesn't come and it's been like a really obscene amount of time because we'll uh, i'll make it up <laughs> for you <laughs> um but yeah um outside of that let's get into this show sergio we are down to day 16 through day 10 of these questions can you okay when this episode comes out, we're 10 days away ah. from New Horizons. I can't believe that. Single I know. digits. Yeah. Right around so the close. corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling? Are you feeling like a little anxious, nervous? Or are you feeling more calm being this close? 
Uh, I'm feeling calm, but the, uh, my favorite part of a lot of days is when you kind of forget about things and you kind of, you're back in real life and you're focusing on work or whatever you're doing and you talk to people about not Animal Crossing and then all, all of a sudden you remember, you know, like, oh, in 10 days or even less, we're going to be playing this. It's going to be back to Animal Crossing for like a long time. So it's it's a, it's a, it's a... A big change in feeling. You you completely change your attitude when you remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then on top of that, like you're saying, like right now we're talking about, you know, other things with people, but pretty soon we don't have to talk about anything but Animal Crossing. <laughs> yep. So we just go to all our work meetings. We can be like, yeah, so I mean, that's cool and all, but Animal Crossing <laughs> is out. So let's talk about that instead. <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah, let's get into these questions. We've got seven th of them, as always, and let's start with day 16, <laughs> which is, which special character do you miss the most, Sergio? So we've seen a lot of them so far, but some of them aren't quite there yet. So which one are you missing? Well, I mean, but also, I'm biased. Like, you can go with one that you, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, like like you're saying, uh, technically we saw like one eighth of KK in one of the in the direct, I believe. <laughs> it wasn't confirmed. We have seen the render, so I do miss KK. I want to see him in the game. But if we're talking about the ones that we haven't seen anything from, there's a lot of them. We're gonna be discussing them later. But honestly, Pascal, I miss Pascal. I want his wisdom back. Yeah, and you know, like. At least all of, like, the waterborne kind of special characters, it feels weird to see them missing. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right that they wouldn't be on an island. One's, like, you know, Cap'n is very island-themed. Um, you know, Pascal, you mentioned. Uh, we, we did see Gulliver, which I would have mentioned earlier if we <laughs> hadn't. But, yeah, there's just, like, a lot of, like, water-themed villagers, well, characters that are strangely missing from this game. Right. Yeah. So I guess for me, I said Leaf. Like, we haven't seen Leaf at all yet. Right now, oh. I was actually playing some Pocket Camp for the first time in, like, three weeks. <laughs> but Leaf has an event going on, and I really I want to see him. Like, you know, he's he. I wouldn't have expected Leaf to be one of those, like, one-time characters that we see because um, mm -hmm. we've seen that before like in city folk where there's like frillard and serena you know like, right that's the only game that they're in and i'd be sad if it, if leaf was only a new leaf and <laughs> i mean i know the game's named after him but <laughs> he's got to keep keep the legacy going you know yes i agree mm-hmm yeah, so hopefully, you know, we do have the promise of, like, everybody who has an amiibo card has the potential of being in the game in some way, but we're just going to have to wait and see if they get, like, if they're implemented into the game in a bigger way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so day 15, the question was, design a new Animal Crossing-themed item of merch. <laughs> what, what do you got for this one, Sergio? Oh, nice. So for this one, I would want to see Animal Crossing post-it notes. Actual post-it notes, so those would be nice on a calendar, on the journals, on the bullet journals that a lot of our members are doing. So I'm thinking there would be different colors, you know, mostly pastel colors, and they would have either a special character or a regular villager, like an outline on one of the corners, just like a small one, and then most of the room for your notes. Um, I would really want to see those. That'd be really cute. I think... Um... I think this is a cuter idea than I, I feel like I went with like an easy out kind of idea because <laughs> I couldn't think of anything in the moment. But yeah, Animal Crossing, like post-it notes and stuff to just kind of decorate your journals and stuff around your place. I think that's adorable. I I really like that. Um, <laughs> me, like I said, I went the easy way. Just give me an Animal Crossing Switch Lite now. <laughs> oh, nice. I know we're getting, yeah, I know we're getting the um, themed, I guess. What's the word I'm looking for? Regular switch? Right. I, I don't ever know how to 
call it a- anymore <laughs> since the Switch Lite came out. <laughs> right, right. Um, but the regular Switch, like we we are getting the that flavored console. But now I'm just like, you know what? Just do it. Just give me just. Give me a Switch Lite, and I'll just have the whole Switch family of systems at this point. That's true, and they could explore maybe a second design that they had in mind. It would be nice. I know it would sell a lot, even to people that normally wouldn't buy one. So, yeah, if Nintendo wants money, there's an option there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there there are a lot of people out there who, you know, still kind of see the Switch as being a little too expensive and they don't really need all of those extra features and things. So, you know, the Switch Lite's a good option for them to avoid the cost of something and essentially just get a really nice console to right. play really awesome games on. Yeah. <laughs> um, though no game is going to exist after New Horizons, you know? This is correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's just going to exist as its own thing. <laughs> um, okay, so the next question is for day 14, and the question is, tell us the truth, cuz. Is Red a friend or a foe? <laughs> what did you think, Sergio? I think he's one of those friends that you know they're out to get you. So he's technically still a friend, but you kind of <laughs> know what to expect, so you kind of watch your step, watch your back. But, but you know, if, if you're careful... They you can still have a good friendship with him, I think. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good answer. Um, <laughs> I went with Red is family because <laughs> even more than Red is your friend, he is your family. He calls you cousin. He knows how to do you well. He's always bringing all of these rare goods so you can buy them. You can't get them anywhere else for a pricier than he has them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, if you want the the craziest prices, you're going to be going to red for sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I really like Crazy Red. I really like the sketchiness of that character. So I don't mind him. I think he's he's fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. So day 13, how have you fared with spoilers? Are you avoiding them well or soaking them in? And I guess from... Um, my perspective, Sergio, I do know that you really wanted to avoid music as spoilers, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So how's that going? Have you avoided any tracks lately? Uh, for the most part, I, I know there's there's one that is uh, very prominent in a lot of videos. I believe someone even managed to get like a clean version and it's out on YouTube. So that one I've heard. Uh, other than that, though, pretty much, yeah, I haven't heard much of it, at least not by itself without you know sound effects on or voiceover so I'm, I'm good with that in in general though regarding the spoilers i'm not avoiding them but i'm also not looking for things specifically um it's a little hard because um, as you probably know i like twitter a lot and there's a lot of information on twitter <laughs> so i've been catching a lot of things uh, most of the things that i've seen I'm, I'm very happy about but yeah i'm not seeking them particularly Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's a good way to go. I think a lot of people have probably started to move into that realm because there, you're right, there's so much info now. It just feels like, why were you quiet for this long, Nintendo? There's just so much to say about this game. Like, you could have just told us sooner, right? (laughs) Yeah. So, like, uh, in one way, I'm a little bit mad at them because I'm like, come on, you guys, please, let me let me play this game already (laughs) and let me see more of it. But on the other, I I feel like I'm like you. I'm not actively seeking a lot of things. I have been compiling essentially like playlists of people's gameplay that they've been posting lately. I haven't watched it all. I'd watched here and there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then... I also have another playlist that's literally just like everything Nintendo has put out for the game. So these are like, uh, it's mostly English and Japanese trailers. Um, I have both versions of the, the, the direct. Uh, So I have the English version and the Japanese version. And then I have a bunch of the Japanese trailers in there, but I'm, I'm trying to just compile every single piece of like marketing material that, at least that exists in video form that Nintendo's putting out about it. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. 
So, so yeah, I keep up with all of that stuff, but I've also gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm not actively trying to dig into the info anymore because I'm just like, there's too much. It's too overwhelming for me to like start, let alone like organize it yeah. all into a cohesive like video, you know? Yeah. Um. So I'm at the point where I'm just like, this was a great trailer that showed us all this stuff. I can't wait to play the game. Yeah. And then I kind of... <laughs> Yeah, I, I leave it be from there, and I just live my life and wait for the next thing to pop up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that said, though, like I the the gameplay that I have watched from a lot of people, and I guess just to be specific with this, this isn't like the PAX gameplay. This is like just straight up direct feed, direct recording gameplay. Yes. That and. I guess content, not content creators so much, but like bigger news outlets now have the game. And so they, well, I'm assuming they have the game, but they can now take like footage of the game and post it up. Um, But I think this one was like a demo that was held by Nintendo privately. And so this footage is like three different parts of the demo. Um, Actually, I think it's two because they're not allowed to show us the third one. That one's top secret still. Oh, (laughs) Um, uh, they can talk about the terraforming, but beyond that, they can't like show anything. Oh, um, that's okay. from the newer demo. At least that's what I've heard. Um, but seeing that footage, Sergio, have you watched any of it? Because it is like uncut. Like you get all of the sound effects, yes. you get some of the music, and I was just like watching it, and I was like, "What is going on <laughs> with this game? Why is it so pretty?" Uh, so, so you said yes. So, so you have seen one of those? I have seen some of those, yeah. And I, I skipped around. I don't want to watch something like for too long because then you start hearing the music. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. It, it looks really good and sounds good too. Oh, it sounds so (laughs) good. I am like, uh, today somebody on the stream asked me like, what are you most excited with with New Horizons? And I was like, I know we've seen it and it looks beautiful, but I know for a fact it's going to look 10 times more beautiful actually on our TV screens, actually on our Switch screens, you know? And then beyond that, like just being blown away by the sounds that we're going to hear while living in that world. Oh, yes. I just want, it's going to be me, all of us existing in this new world together. And I'm just ready for that. That's what I'm excited for. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we talked a lot about this spoiler thing. Um, for me, <laughs> I feel like I've talked about this before. I don't think, I don't want want the holiday events to be spoiled for me. And it doesn't look like they're going to be with the way they're getting updated exactly. into the game. So. For me, everything's like fair game. I'm I'm watching everything that comes out. I don't watch it like too much or overanalyze it at this point. Um, right. Like like in the past, I would have, but now I'm just like, <laughs> there's too much to do that. Yes, I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I can't. And I already think about the game so much. So uh, <laughs> I've got to take a little break. Give myself little breaks. Yeah. So daily trailers <laughs> is fine. Nintendo, keep it up. I don't mind. Um, <laughs> Okay, let, let's get into the next one because you know, we could talk about that all day. Uh, <laughs> day 12, the question was, are you telling villagers where they should live or are you letting them choose? Sergio, what are you doing with them? Nice. At, you know, at first I was thinking that I wanted them kind of close together so that I, I guess my thinking was so they wouldn't feel unsafe. You know, so they, they felt like they had someone close nearby in case they needed it. But then I was thinking if these villagers are moving to a deserted island they probably want you know some privacy or some space to themselves so i'm just gonna let them choose and i think they're gonna be a little bit apart from each other and that's fine yeah i like that i like to you know i like to respect my animals wishes when they come in (laughs) um so i i'm half and half for sure like i want I I think early on, I don't really want to choose where they live because I like when they kind of just plot wherever and you have to plan around that, you know? (laughs) Um, So I like the creativity that comes from like, okay, this is the space they've picked. What can we do to make this work? So I want to do that. But then after, I probably, I want to let probably around like five to seven Five to six villagers move in that way. And then from there, I want to, I do want to like, if they all happen to move in together, maybe I will decide that's a residential area now. So I'll stick yeah. another home there, you know? Oh, nice. So, mm-hmm. 
So yeah, I think like once I have some animals that are settled in, I want to pick spots and kind of, you know, see what it is to plan it. Because I think part of Animal Crossing is like you play for a long time and you try to experience as much as possible. And so one experience is just having them move in wherever. The other experience is choosing. So I want to try both and just see how I feel about it. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's going to be awesome, though. I really like that that's an option in general, just because, like, you have uh, you have so much control creatively and so many things that you can pick to do. And uh, even then, like, you can just choose not to do it, and it'll choose for you. <laughs> yes. So whatever way people want to play, whatever fits their own play style and gives them the experience they want to have, I love that we just get that, you know? Yes, and the fact that they let you do that from the very beginning of the game, it's a mm-hmm. big hint that, yes, this is this is our approach to this game. You can change anything. Yeah, so, like, you know, this is... I'm, I'm thinking, I guess, a little too far ahead in the future. I'm thinking, like, second island, third island stuff. But, <laughs> you know, like, you do... You make your mistakes on your first island. You live and you learn. This game, it seems like you can fix those pretty easily. Do whatever you want later on to kind of, like, oh, I didn't really like where I placed this building. Let's move it somewhere else, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... Second Island comes along and you're like, okay, I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to control things this way. (laughs) And, you know, it it sets you up to live that kind of life, essentially. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, I, it's not, why can't it just be out? (laughs) (laughs) Every, every day I just ask myself that. (laughs) Okay. So, man, this next question. All right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Pun o'clock, make up a new catchphrase for a bug or fish. <laughs> oh, Sergio, well, I see what you wrote, but tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a secret to you, so I'm going to say it now. i going with a bug. I'm going with the honeybee. Okay. And the catchphrase is, honey, I'll be home soon. <laughs> I love it. It's terrible. <laughs> yes. And great. <laughs> okay. So here's, I needed, I should have just looked at a list of bugs because I was trying to think of all of them, um, like all the different bugs and fish that would come right. out. And I'm like, I I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Because, okay, funny, funny story with this. The smelt, whenever the smelt was caught in the previous games, I would say whoever smelt it dealt it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and funny enough, like, that has not been the phrase for it in the past. But this time around in this game, New Horizons, we have seen that as the phrase, <laughs> um, the little pun that that they say after they catch a smelt. So yes. I was like, okay, Nintendo, <laughs> thanks for listening to my mind and just stealing my lines here. Um <laughs> Okay, but the other thing, okay, I thought of one. It's going to be for the tuna. It's going to be like, I caught a tuna fish, but can you tune a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That's it. The, the, it's not a great pun. None of them are. <laughs> yeah, no, but like they sound like they belong in the game. <laughs> yeah, they just do. That, that's, that's the fun of Animal Crossing. Yes. It's supposed to be silly and quirky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. I can't believe it. Last question. Day 10. We are 10 days away from this game. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing next week, Sergio, because, <laughs> you know, we're going to end the week at like, oh. what, three days to yeah. go. I guess we're just going to have to finish it off or maybe do a live show uh, like just before release. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll see what people say in the comments. Feed, leave us some feedback in the post office if you all want. Um, actually, leave it in feedback. I'll, I'll put a little note. I'll say <laughs> thumbs up if you want a live show right day, right before release. Thumbs down if you don't. We'll see what, how many thumbs downs we get. <laughs> people who really don't like us, <laughs> but they like hanging out. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you don't have to like us. It's fine. <laughs> okay, day 10. Uh, Before I get too carried away, (laughs) do you ship any characters together? 
draw them a love story, and of course, keep it PG, Haken, if you're doing this one. We want them not to be <laughs> naughty. <laughs> um, so, Sergio, do you have any uh, characters that you ship together? Yes, and I'm going to go with Gracie and Kix. Mm. I feel like it's an unlikely pair, but I feel like they could benefit each other. I feel, you know, Grace could be a little more humble, for sure. And <laughs> and Kix has been working really hard. We have seen him since City Folk. He's doing really well for himself. So I feel like his shoes and now his accessories, they could be part of something bigger. Maybe Gracie could collaborate with him and they could do something a little bit fancy but a little bit affordable too like you know from the kick side so i feel like they could work well together and they could find success together yeah i mean i like those options a lot it sounds pretty cool to um just put two characters that you wouldn't normally put together a picture <laughs> together so that's pretty fun um I would go with something completely different, I guess. <laughs> and it's in a way where it's like, um, it, it's mostly just opposite from yours, where it's a, a pairing that I think maybe a lot of people would want oh. um, if you have history with the games. But mine are Tom Nook and Sable. So mm. if you go way back to the beginning of time, Tom Nook and Sable have a lot of history with their backstory. They used to be very close. You'll hear it from Sable as she kind of like talks about things and you she starts to open up to you, you know? Right. Um, you don't really hear it too much from Tom Nook, but she does say like, you know, they had a relationship going in the past. And so I want to see them uh, get back together. Just Oh, nice. Yeah, get get mom and dad back together. <laughs> <laughs> um, but maybe, you know, it could always just be long gone. Their history is over. It's been written. <laughs> but, you know, that, that that's one that I'm like, oh, I would love if they just like dug into that, built some more relationships, had some something different going on in the world. Yeah, that would be a nice throwback for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, those were all of the questions for this week, seven of them total. We're going to find out how we're going to handle the last, I guess, nine through zero, <laughs> nine through one. Yes. <laughs> we are just about done with these, this countdown to think. There are two episodes left of this podcast, the one you're listening to now, the one next week and i guess maybe three if we do a live one later right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're almost there we're just about ready but i guess since there's still some time in between let's talk about our plans between now and launch sergio you nice. had this idea to kind of go over just what we're doing in the meantime how are we spending these last for us 12 days for all of you 10 days so sergio tell us about your plans Sure, that sounds good. So I have my Amiibo ready. Um, I talked about them a little bit last, last week. I got them all out. I organized them. I have a couple of extras and I have, you know, the albums at the ready. I have them at an arm's reach between where my Switch is and the albums and even the figures too. I have them in a Animal Crossing tote bag. So they're all together. They're all ready. Um, now, the thing is for me... Uh, as some of you might know, there's another game that I'm really looking forward to this year, but it's definitely not the one that I'm looking forward to the most. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest, which is called Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's actually coming out tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, March 11. And I realized something. It's a little bit mean for me to call it this, but it, it's very true. Ori 2 is going to be the best distraction of the year <laughs> it's gonna be like the best appetizer for the main course that is animal crossing so basically i'm gonna have about eight or nine days to finish it uh i did the math and i think i can i'm, I'm expecting it's gonna take about 30 hours to complete it and i think i'm gonna be right there so at first i was thinking maybe i should hold off but i think i can beat it and it's gonna keep me very busy and it's gonna make the days fly by like crazy so i'm looking forward to that Wow, I can't believe they put that game so close to Animal <laughs> Crossing for you. Like, how are you? Uh, I, I hope you finish it for your sake, just so you can, you know, have nothing on your mind as you go into Animal Crossing. Not that you will have anything else on your mind once it comes out. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's tough to just have like such um, one of your favorite games come out 
next to what is definitely your favorite game. Yes. <laughs> um, and then trying to fit that in. I guess I'm I'm in a similar boat as you where I'm just like, I'm trying my best to get through some of the last games that I've got. So Fire Emblem, I'm still chugging away. I'm still nowhere near the end. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so I've got so much to go. Luigi's Mansion, you know, like if I just focused on Luigi's Mansion, I think I could easily beat that before New Horizons comes out. But right. those two, I'm trying my best. I think Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to get a lot of time to get through them both. So hmm. I think if I can just get like five hours a night on those days, <laughs> um, I'll be barely halfway on Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's so long. And I, yeah. why did I do this to myself? I always play with the permadeath on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, okay. It's really cool that you, you're like plotting out some hours to get through Ori. I should do that for both of my games and just see if it's, is it possible? Am, can I do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, that's the answer right now. <laughs> so what nice. else do you have, Sergio? Yeah, for sure. And you know, if it does happen that I don't finish Ori 2, I am ready to drop it like crazy. So <laughs> if it comes to that, I'm sorry, Ori, but yeah, uh, you know, the main course is the main course for a reason. Uh, so before that, uh, in very pretty much this week later this week when everyone is listening we're gonna have the horizon switch uh march 13 mm. here in north america uh like i said we're gonna probably pick it up after work i'm probably gonna either set it up either that night or the day after you know like the system transfer and putting on a screen protector and such so it's gonna be ready for a week after when the game comes out it's gonna be nice Yes. Okay. So I'm in. We're we're in the same boats with a lot of these things. <laughs> um, also, getting that new Horizon Switch, and I I'm ready for it. I'm just like I've been wanting a version two Switch for a long time. Um, I was essentially like planning on getting one when New Horizons came out, regardless of like if they made an Animal Crossing theme or not. You know, mm -hmm. and it's mostly because. I really want the longer battery. I think that is enough for me, but I also really want a second dock because now that I have like this recording room, the one piece that I see myself constantly moving back and forth to like record is my switch dock, essentially. So mm. it would just be nice to have a second dock. One, Of course, the New Horizons dock is going to be in my living room, just there to showcase in front of everybody. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then the... Um, the regular black one, because, you know, it's just going to be stuffed behind a monitor on my desk here. I won't really need to see it or anything. Right, right. So that one's just going to be my regular black dock that I've had for since launch, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's basically like the reasons I really wanted a version two switch. But, you know, we lucked out. We get an Animal Crossing themed one. So it's even better than I ever could have thought. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I really I, I need to start focusing on deleting all my games getting ready to just like move that SD card over to that other console, transfer all my saves over there, my profiles and everything. So yeah, um, I guess that also makes me think I need to get another family plan for my Switch. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> it, because I'm on one with like seven other people, eight of us total. Because, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, it costs like four bucks a year at that point. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is very cheap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I want to get an, a second plan just to have one for extra profiles for me but definitely one for jackie so she can play online right. um because i'm gonna start getting jackie into the game that's gonna be a fun little project as it comes out so yes I, that's gonna I, be so awesome yeah i really hope she enjoys it and has a fun time playing um yeah nice. so i guess where are you going from there sergio so from there, it's going to be very close. Um, as you know, I'm taking my work vacation for New Horizons. Actually, I'm starting it the day before. So I'm, my vacation starts on Thursday, March 19. And the reason for that is because I want to sleep most of that day. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be sleeping and then I'm going to be up and ready to play at 9 p.m. Pacific, which is minute zero of this amazing journey and then i'm just gonna keep playing until i faint from lack of sleep whenever that is on friday <laughs> that works out i guess <laughs> you just play till you fall asleep uh, yeah. all on your own because you literally can't hold uh, keep open <laughs> anymore yeah. <laughs> yeah 
Well, that's great. I like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know how late I'm going to play that first night. I guess I'll probably try to get some sleep and then be sure <laughs> to be up during the next day, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just going to be like, how how am I going to possibly put this game down once it's there? I know. <laughs> it's a risk. Yeah, so we're we're going to see how long I play in the first time. I'm sure Jackie will be sensible and be like, hey, Chewy, you got to eat. And I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat apples in my game. <laughs> I don't need food. <laughs> and she'll say, You're like, like, I just did. I ate a peach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she'll say, listen to yourself. You sound hungry. And I'll be like, fine, I will eat something. <laughs> but I want to keep playing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I get that for sure. Um, that'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, you know, also probably either that Thursday or the day before, hopefully, so I can sleep that Thursday, I'm going to be looking for a, let's say, plentiful supply of snacks. And my go-to snacks are chocolate-covered pretzels. Those are good. Mm. And you know what? Actually, I got, you've probably seen it, the little cakey slider cookie jar that is in the... Nintendo Story in Japan uh, when we got a bunch of ceramic items for Animal Crossing. Yeah. So I recently ordered one. It should be here in time. So I'm just going to fill it up with pretzels. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is great. You know, just be snack ready. Um, that way, you know, you won't run into my problem where I'm just like, no, I don't want to <laughs> eat. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good thing to plan out. Um, I guess for me... In terms of, like, planning out playing the game, I only really thought of, like, man, what am I going to do for, like, my daily routine in the game? I'm sure a daily routine won't exist at the beginning, but I mm -hmm. do want to have an idea of, like, okay, when I go in, I recognize that I have to chop a lot of wood, get uh, plenty of materials for my character, you know. From there, I've got to do some other stuff. But, yeah, just, like, figuring uh, figuring out the daily routine, kind of thinking and putting some thought into that before starting to play. And just, I, I'm starting to wonder, like, what is the first thing I'm going to want to do when I finally play, you know? Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just don't know. I keep wondering. <laughs> and I think that's a testament to the, how great and how expansive the game is because not only what are we going to do, but are, what are we going to improve first or like upgrade, you know, because with the Nook Miles, we can say, oh, I want more hairstyles. I want more um, inventory space or I want this or that it's there's so much variety that it's it's kind of, it's almost uncanny like it's gonna be so awesome to just decide either think about it now or, or decide on a whim depending on how our gameplay is going it's gonna be so awesome yeah i am so excited <laughs> <laughs> it will be awesome so what else are you trying to plan here so for you know, definitely for the first few days, I'm going to be keep the game to myself. But also, after probably that weekend or so, um, I do plan to be on our voice chat over on Haken on our Discord group, just to talk to people, see how they're liking the game, what they might need help with or questions about. I just want to be there with everyone, enjoying pretty much for the full two weeks of my vacation. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm yeah, it's going to be so cool hanging out with everybody. So it's it's going to be great to just yes. like log in and be like, hey, how's it going? What are you all working on in your towns these days? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I, I am super excited for that. Um, I guess was that about everything on your list before I go into mine? And there was also, like you said, you mentioned the daily routine and for sure it's going to be it's going to take a little while to determine when I feel like. You know, since I do have my vacation, it's about two weeks. So I feel like that should be plenty of time. But one thing that I do really like uh, that they change in New Horizons is that the days are going to reset at 5 a.m. instead of the 6 a.m. that we were used to, at least in New Leaf. It's an hour, but it I think it's really, it's a very nice change. 5 a.m., it's its a lot better, I think. Well, I didn't know that. When when did the, that info come out? Uh, I believe we got it from somebody from PAX. So, yeah, it's been, I saw it on Twitter, but they did confirm, you know, that the day is going to reset at 5 a.m. this time. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I, I did not know that. That's cool. That's news for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that I'm ever up before 5 a.m., but I know you are. So, it's, yes. probably, it's probably helpful for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, okay, cool. Then I guess I'll, I'll spell out a little bit of the last few things that I'm planning because you did have a lot of the same stuff on your list as mine, you know? Yes. <laughs> um, mine, I guess they go into the, the technical aspects, kind of like the entertainment aspects because I'm like, you know, I, I'm going to play the game on my own in many ways, but I also have to think of like, oh, what am I going to do as far as like videos go? So one of them, it's obvious I'm going to live stream daily, like at least a little morning check in or maybe after work, I'll do a little check in, you know, but I want to I want to keep those kind of short, like a good 30 minute stream of just like doing something around my town. Um, and so, mm-hmm. yeah, I've been practicing with that, doing live streams on the daily lately. So many of you have been jumping in and watching. So thank you for checking those out. Um, but it's going to keep going. We're going to see how many days in a row we'll just play New Horizons for everyone. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then beyond that, like, I just want to get a lot of things ready, like some technical things ready. I want to figure out like some new thumbnails, some background scenes and stuff, maybe some like music to go along with the streams, but like, you know, just make it like a whole production that makes it a little bit more professional, a little bit more fun for everybody. So there's that. And then from there, I guess, you know, we, we've got to start brainstorming the structure of the podcast as we get into these next days. Um, Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a whole new show after this. We've waited a long <laughs> time to get here, but we're going to be able to finally play the game together, talk about the game. So we'll probably come up with a cool structure to do that and go through each day and just talk about what we're doing in our games, what what we learned this past week from our gameplay, you know? Right, and then I'm pretty sure... Like the previous games, there's going to be unlockables depending on how many days we have been playing and we could cover those. You know, this week we unlocked this or that or we got this event. So, yeah, it's going to be so much fun just covering everything pretty much like real time, basically. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be super awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And I wanted to give a little uh, just like a notice for people in the U.S. that have a pre-order in at GameStop. Uh, it's looking like uh, at least some of them are going to have the game available basically at the equivalent of midnight Eastern time. So that would be 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Mountain, 11 p.m. Central. A lot of stores are going to open so you can pick up your pre-order if you would want so you can start playing right away. Yeah, it's really awesome that a lot of places are going to be just, you know, it's midnight somewhere. Might as well let it come yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yeah. I, I really like that. I'm I'm very excited for everyone. It's so close. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I guess those are our plans before Animal Crossing comes out. But let's go ahead and go into our main topic, even though we're like 40 minutes in. It's going to be a long show. <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to talk about the missing characters in New Horizons. Um, there are a lot that we haven't seen yet, a lot that we don't know if they're coming... Or, and let alone like what they're doing if they are in the game. So right. I kind of have a list of a lot of that. there are a lot of characters we have not seen yet. And so I kind of want to go through and we're going to, I guess, decide whether or not we're going to see those characters again or if this is it for them. Um, mm. And then from there, we're going to say, like, if they are in the game, what are they going to do? Um, so Sergio, let's start with Reese and Cyrus. This is going to be one of the pair paired characters. There's a couple of paired characters, actually, like several yes. of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Reese and Cyrus, do you think they're going to be in this game? Oh man, this is th- one of the hardest pairings because I have a feeling like they will because I feel like they're a fan favorite from New Leaf. The thing is, I have zero clue as what they could be doing that other special characters are not doing already. So I feel like if we get them in the game, they're going to be one of the last additions. And Nintendo and the development team are probably struggling too of what they could do. That's why it's probably going to take them a while to be there. Yeah, I think the we've seen... I guess that we can customize our furniture and we don't really need Cyrus to handle that anymore. And mm-hmm. even looking back at New Leaf, like if you go and try to customize a piece, uh, an item, 
you're going to be waiting a while before you can customize everything. Like, it's not a quick action. You have to go to Cyrus, you give them your thing, you choose what they want them to do. And then from there, you have to wait 30 minutes before it's even done. (laughs) So, (laughs) you know, you could only customize so much in a day with Cyrus, and that really required you to play essentially all day if you wanted to do something in a day, Yeah, um, which is a bummer. But I, I will say, like, the Reese aspect of what their shop was is still a unique thing that... Honestly, like, I would still want to see return because essentially, you know, she ran a consignment shop. You can post things to sell there and then characters would come and you would get the money for how much it sold, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that still just doesn't exist in this game yet. Like, sure, you can go to the store and buy something, but, like, we're expecting to have a lot of visitors come to the town. And Mm -hmm. I just, like when they come i want them to be able to like go into a shop that i actually set up and they can you know buy something from there that i put up to sell right Mm -hmm. so i feel like that gives you a little bit more to do with the people who come and visit so i don't know i I guess as far as whether i think they're going to be in the game or not I will say it doesn't look promising. (laughs) Ah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think it looks promising based on just how much is, I guess, kind of getting turned into an easier method to do it with the customizing. Right. And we just don't know how many other shops are going to be in our town. I expect there to be more, but who really knows, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go into the next character, Brewster. What do you think? Is he going to be in the game? I think so. I think he's probably in the game as it is now without a free update. Uh, I feel like it's just going to take a couple of days to unlock him in the Rooster Cafe. Yeah, I would really like to see him. And honestly, like, there's nobody like Brewster. (laughs) I think he does something (laughs) that's completely unique. So it would be really fun to see him for sure. And... I believe it. I, I think he'll be in the game, even though we haven't seen him. Right. Because mm-hmm. there's still room in the museum for stuff to build. There's, I I don't know. I fe- I'm, I've seen the museum, <laughs> and there's just some sections that look too suspicious that yes. tell me there's got to be something special that happens <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think he'll do the same thing. He's going to give us some brew. <laughs> yeah <laughs> brew some coffee and sell it to us all right the next ones are copper and booker what do you think of these two are they going to be in it ah uh, i hope so i feel like they are i'm gonna i'm gonna say yes they are they are in the game already um it's gonna be similar to new leaf we're gonna be um unlocking the quote-unquote police station more like a lost and found area i'm thinking it's gonna be similar you're gonna have one of them there But I'm really hoping they take turns because, like we discussed in the past, it's nice to see both of them. They're so different. It's nice to have them switch around. Yeah. um, Yeah. I I like them a lot. And they've been in it from the beginning. So, But we've already seen them get at least half cut from a game, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you could pick one or the other in New Leaf. So... This one, with, with them already kind of giving us... I guess th- there's a twofold thing. In the very first game, if you went and talked to Copper, he would kind of tell you if somebody was in town, what the events were going on in the town, you know? Right. But now we're going to be getting that, like, right when we log in. Our CEO, Tom Nook, is going to be letting us know, you know? Yes. And so that takes one thing away. Lost and found stuff, I don't really know. Like, there's a basket i guess that we can pick things up from that seems like a lost and found to some extent the recycling bin always seemed like a lost and found Um, right like copper and booker's place just seemed like an extra lost and found that maybe wasn't too (laughs) necessary and from there like we don't have to worry about people cutting down our trees and digging holes like we just already have that blocked off as options from people visiting. So yes. even them like setting laws like that, or I guess enforcing laws, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I feel like they're, they might be cut at this point. Mm. Yeah, those, and, those are good points. Mm-hmm. And I'm sad about it because I like them. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next one, Cap'n. 
what do you think of Cap'n? Is he going to be in? Oh, man. Well, I actually meant to ask you if we know how we're going to be visiting Photopia with Harvey. Are we going to be flying? Or if not, if not, then I think Cap'n might be an option. Okay. I do I do know the answer to this, actually. I heard it recently. Oh. Um, so in the demo that I think was at PAX, that you, if you ran into Harvey in your demo and talk to him, he would say, hey, I have my own island with Photopia on there. All you have to do is fly over there. So it is Aww. it is a flying action. However, I did hear that they were not allowed to go to the airport at all in the demo. Like, it was oh. blocked off from them, so they <laughs> couldn't see it. So that's why you didn't see any uh, airport footage <laughs> in that right. stuff. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, but yeah, like... Why wouldn't you row a boat there? Like, it seems like <laughs> Cap'n's the one to do that for you, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, it, it's really strange. I don't... I'm surprised. I uh, that That's what I can say. I'm, like, just surprised that it wouldn't be something that they could do. Yeah. Um, if that's the case, then I, I think it's unlikely, too. Yeah, he's so island-themed. yeah. So I want to say that he'll be in it, but I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could drive a taxi again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pelly and Phyllis, and I guess Pete as well. <laughs> we haven't seen them. Do you think they're going to be in it? I think so. And I feel like it would be nice for them to just take turns delivering mail. So... Once in a while in New Leaf, you would see them walking around depending on the time. I feel like that might be the same. And hopefully it's they take turns, you know, between the three of them because they're so different. They have very different personalities. It would be nice to keep them, all of them. Yeah, I really like them too. Um, but I guess I'm the pessimistic one here. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of reasons why they can get taken out. And it's just like, we do know that we can post... I, I guess send post through the uh, the airport now. Right, right. So it just doesn't seem like there's much of a reason to have them around anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna say no to them. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, they, these are all such classic characters, and it hurts me to think that they're not gonna be in it. Yeah. But I think they're not gonna be in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This next one, Rover. What do you think about Rover? This is another one that is such a staple of Animal Crossing and it saddens me to say that I cannot see him in this game. I don't know what he would do that Timmy, Tommy, Tom Nook are already covering, you know, with the introductions and, and everything. Ah, sorry, Robert, I'm going to miss you a lot, but I don't think you're in this game. Yeah, I am still the pessimistic one <laughs> and it just doesn't seem like the type of character that is going to be in there. Because, um, yeah, like you're saying, I feel like it's just everything that he did has been replaced or, you know, just it's going to be done by another character. So it just right. doesn't seem like there's room for him anymore, unfortunately. This island is like cutting everybody for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm bummed about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... This next one, Blanca, do you think she's going to make a return? Can we draw on her face? <laughs> <laughs> I think she will make a return. I don't know about the, the face drawing, but I definitely expect her, you know, around April Fool's time, early April. I think she's going to be one of those pop-up characters for sure. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I think she's, she's got potential to be a pop-up character for sure, too. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm more optimistic about her just because it is a very unique, strange character <laughs> that yeah. we don't see <laughs> too often. So yeah, I, I'm for it for sure. Nice. Okay. Gracie, what do you think Gracie is doing? I think Gracie will be back as if it's going to be in her own shop or she's going to be part of the last uh, Nook Nookington or the Nook store expansion. I'm not sure. It would be very nice if she has a different store, but maybe with the limited space or quote unquote limited, she might still be just part of the store. But I think she will be in the game for sure. Awesome. I... 
<laughs> I don't think she's going to be once again, just because, I don't know, we've seen, I guess, Label or LaBelle, you know, whichever you want to call her. And I think LaBelle might be taking that role. Like she's this hip up and coming fashion designer. And oh. so it seems like, you know, Gracie's the type of fashion designer that says, you know, it's not big enough for both of us to exist. So maybe LaBelle has finally won out and taken over the high fashion in this game. <laughs> so I lean toward no. I'm leaning toward no on a lot of these. <laughs> it's a bummer. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Katie, we've seen her. She's a little visiting cat. What do you think of her? Oh, man, I really hope she is, but I'm going to have to say no because, you know, it's one thing to be on a train dif uh, visiting different towns, but flying on different airports to different islands, that's a little more advanced. I feel like Katie's mom, it's going to be a little more attentive with that. So I don't I don't expect Katie, unfortunately. Yeah, she's not going to home alone herself onto an island. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, but maybe she will. I don't know. It could be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I think it's possible that we could see her, but I'm just going to say no. I'm going to say no to a lot of them <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um okay. Leaf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For Leaf, hope... I'll say yes. Just uh, Yeah. What are you going to say? Yeah. No, I hope it's a yes, too. And it would be very nice if he has his own gardening store. L like in New Leaf, he could, he could just be part of the bigger store at the end. But we need Leaf. I feel like gardening is very, it's changing in, in many big ways here in New Horizons. So we need someone that is up with the changes. We need Leaf. <laughs> yeah. I Okay, so here's my reason of why we need Leaf. Leaf is all about the greenery, and I want so badly for this game to be the one where we can really have tons and tons of options when it comes to, like, planting things and figuring out some really nice-looking, I guess, landscaping for our town. Because, I mean, like, yeah. what's the point of being able to control our town completely if there's just, like, not a lot of greenery that we can have in it? So, yeah. Um, I say yes to Leaf. I think Leaf's going to be there to introduce a lot of really nice new things that we can plant for sure. Nice. Okay, the next one. Oh, Luna. Luna, who runs the Dream Suite. Do you think she's going to be in it? Oh, man. No, I'm sorry, Luna. I think she's gone. We don't really have, um, at least not now, we don't have a substitute per se. We have island tours but it doesn't look like those islands are actual islands from other players so as far as right now without any updates yeah i don't think luna is gonna be in the game okay um that's too bad i i'm gonna say yes to luna actually oh and i'm gonna say yes mostly because the dream suite was just such a cool idea that gave us an easy way to like quickly visit other towns other places to just get you know just new ideas for your own place yeah so i think just her her um i guess function just feels like yes we've got to be able to get her just to you know make it easy on us as we go and look at other people's places um Mm. Yeah, because otherwise you have to depend on being able to connect with other people, making sure you're both online at the same time. And I know that's not as hard on people as it is for me, but like for me, it's just kind of a struggle. Like I work all the day. I live in a different place. We've got different time zones. So plan mm -hmm. trying to plan get togethers is just tough, especially if you just really want to go and look at another island. So I'm saying yes to Luna. I think she'll be in it. Ah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next one, I know you missed this guy, Pascal. What do you think? Is he going to be in it? I think so. I have very specific predictions for a big summer update for this game. I think we're going to be able to swim. I think we're going to get sea creatures that we can catch. And I think we're going to get Pascal. And that's all going to come in a summer update. That's just me <laughs> imagining things. But I hope that's the case. 
Yeah, I, you know, he's got to show up. He's just going to be floating around your island one day down the river and you're just going to run into (laughs) him and be like, awesome. Let's go talk. Learn some wisdom for sure. Yes. (laughs) So I lean yes for him. Oh, this next one's an interesting one because we do have a relative of theirs who we haven't seen or who we have seen. But Digby, what do you think Digby is going to do? Do you think he's going to be in it? Ah. I don't think so, and I'm sorry. I like him a lot, but I, I don't think so. No. Oh no! I, I guess. Why do you feel like he's not going to be in it? Well, since we don't really have a happy home academy or section, at least not with homes for for us to visit and get inspiration from. I mean, he might be related to the island tours, but I, I, I don't know, and especially because. It's going to take a little while for Isabel to be in the island in the first place. So I feel like Digby is going to be further retired as well. Okay. I gotcha. Well, Mm -hmm. um, I lean toward him being in it. (laughs) We're we're being opposites on a lot of these. (laughs) Um, I lean toward him being in it just because, I don't know, it feels weird for his sister to be there, but not him. (laughs) Yeah. I, I don't want them to be far away from each other. (laughs) <laughs> nice yeah so uh, yeah i guess that's just how i feel i guess that, that makes no sense logically at all but that's just how i feel <laughs> <laughs> all right so we've got several more to go let's let's go pretty quick through these um porter do you think he's going to be in it it saddens me to say no pretty pretty certain it's a no man i'm gonna miss him yeah i agree here i think porter's probably going to be gone but maybe champ the monkey might be back Oh, that'd be nice. Because in the game where Porter <laughs> wasn't there, we did get Champ. So yeah, yeah. Um, Phineas, do you think Phineas is going to be showing up at all? I don't think so. Um, not to sound mean, but I, I'm not really going to miss him. <laughs> oh, that's rude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I don't know because he seems like one of those easy, just like traveling by characters to come out. Right. So I I feel like it wouldn't be hard to have him show up at all. But yeah, I guess I don't know. Um, Mm. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. What about? No, actually, I'm going to change it. No, because it seems like a lot of the older characters are just like getting knocked out Mm. one by one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Wendell, the walrus, do you think he's going to be back? I think so. I I expect him in the island tours, the random ones. He'd probably pop up there once in a while. Awesome. Yeah, I would like to see him for sure. Um, But I'm going to say no again, just because he was in there there in the past to give you like patterns and things. But now that we have like the QR code stuff confirmed for it, I'm just going to lean for them getting him out of there which is unfortunate because mm. this is actually one of jackie's favorites so uh, i do hope he does show up yeah yeah okay this next one's going to be controversial dr shrunk is he in the game <laughs> or not uh he's not but i hope he is but he's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think he is either just because like we we've now seen that villagers can teach characters um I guess your players' names now, so yes. it doesn't. It, I don't know. I just it, it doesn't seem like he's going to be in it at all because of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, next one, Katrina, in or out? In probably towards you know once you progress a lot, but I think she's in. Cool. Um. Yeah, I think I think she's another one that's like one of those easy just can show up whenever characters. So yes, I lean toward yes. And she it's unique what she provides, you know, just a fortune. But at the same time, like, does I ever do much? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> um, so but I, but I do think she could probably be in it. All right. Yeah. Two mm-hmm. more crazy red in or out. Oh, definitely. And he's going to be causing mischief in his own way every week. <laughs> yeah, I I really hope we see him for sure. He just seems like he, it's fun to get ripped off every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it'd be great to see him. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Harriet. 
Is she in or out? I think she's in. She's probably going to give us some more advanced haircut styles. Uh, probably, you know, one of those pop-up characters again, but I, I think she's in. Yes. Okay. I, I lean toward yes because... Mm, I don't know. I just feel like she's going <laughs> to give us some different wigs, some really, really extend like how much we can do with our hair and maybe give us some special things that we haven't gotten in the past, you know, mm-hmm. um, at, at least hairstyle wise. So, yeah, I kind of lean toward yes. Um, nice. But at the same time, she could easily get cut, too, just because we yeah. can do our hair <laughs> so freely, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so those are all the characters. Let us know in the comments who you think is going to be in or out of this game. Uh, Do you think we'll see everybody and we just wasted our time? Or do you think we're actually going to see a lot of cuts? Because, you know, seeing like this many characters listed, there are a lot of characters, a lot of special characters. It seems like now would be the time to maybe cut down, especially if they're introducing Mm. newer ones, you know? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay controversy again okay what about dj dj kk what do you think oh man i know i we know he's not in it so far just based on like the fact that his amiibo doesn't even work yet yeah (laughs) so oh man i think i think we'll eventually get an amiibo update that um adds him but I, mm-hmm. I think that's the best we can say with a lot of the characters that we said no to, you know? Yeah, I agree. It's just going to be for Photopia, at least. And that's good. Uh, for DJ KK, I don't think he's in the game. And this might surprise you, but I'm I'm okay with that. I want traditional acoustic KK best. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I do I, I do really like traditional acoustic KK best, too. So... <laughs> I mean, what can, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and hop into I- Haken's Islander Corner. We're already at over an hour here on this episode. So <laughs> um, we're going to go back and forth. For those of you who don't know, every week we ask our patrons on Patreon a question. And this week's question was, how have you fared with spoilers? Avoided well or soaking them in? Sergio, let's go back and forth. Do you want to start? Sure. The first answer is by Kai Eversfield, and they say, I feel like I personally done a bad job at avoiding spoilers. We had that big drought of information during the winter. I became used to information being scarce. I would watch every little clip and dissect any screenshots that surfaced. But now that information is plentiful, I feel like I've overindulged myself. I'm worried I might have spoiled a lot of things in New Horizons that would have been better to discover in-game. Like the museum, for example. Mm. Kai, I understand, but I feel like a big part of New Horizons and Animal Crossing in general is the way we approach things. Sometimes we know things are in the game, but we don't know when it's going to hit our island specifically or even if it's going to be part from the beginning or not. So I think you're fine. I I agree. It's easy to spoil a couple of things here and there, but at the same time, it's going to be so unique to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree with you there where it's just like, you know, you can watch a lot of people play the game, but really they're going to play it a lot differently than you would approach things. So for me, it's like when I see the stuff, I'm just like, cool, awesome ideas. I can't wait to do my own stuff. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So I agree with that. Um, But, you know, like if you're avoiding it, too, because it works for you, I think that's great as well. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael Dotson said, as soon as I saw the Animal Crossing Direct, I shut all spoilers out. I know enough to be sure that I'm going to love it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and that works too. Like, you know, if you already know you want the game, if you already know it's going to have what you want to get out of it, then yeah, you don't really need to see anymore. You're good. Yeah. And honestly, I wish I could resist, <laughs> but I can't. Me neither. I I just can't. I want to. <laughs> I just want to watch all the videos. I talked about this earlier. I just want to keep watching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, Rain says, I'm soaking in all the spoilers. There have been so many details released at this point that I know I'll just be surprised all over again when I see them in-game. Oh, that is such a good approach. 
you're definitely right. There's so much that we're going to forget. And then once we see it in the game, it's going to be like, oh, I remember that. Now I can do this. That's awesome. Yeah, that's true. It's going to be like we're just figuring out so many things as we go. <laughs> um, so it, it is nice to go through it, see what you see, and then be like, oh, yeah, all these details that I saw before, I can do them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Newt said... I've been watching the commercials, direct, and small little tidbits from Nintendo themselves, but I've avoided pack spoilers, music that has come out, etc. I really want to hear the hourly music by myself, and there's a lot of smaller stuff I'd rather discover by myself rather than have other people's experiences spoil it for me. I don't mind being spoiled for some of the smaller returning features, though, I guess. <laughs> um, so this is very <laughs> along your lines, too, Sergio, where it's just like avoiding the music at all costs. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess that's pretty cool too. Like just going with the official release stuff rather than people like posting up like, oh, here's the game at PAX, mm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one way to like limit what you see and what everybody else is showing. Yeah. I feel like that's a ni nice approach for sure. Mm -hmm. So Arden and Herman say, we're soaking them all in. What we have seen is definitely not all we're going to get when the game comes out that's another very good point there's gonna be so much to the game and yeah we have not seen the tip of the iceberg i believe so for sure it's nice you know just see whatever you can knowing that there is so much more in there yeah and if you happen to have seen like all of these things in the game just remember like we definitely haven't seen everything i we have not seen a single clip of bait being used since that like ending clip in september you know so mm -hmm. basically there's like just so much stuff that we don't know about yet and from the recent reports and things like there was a whole third portion of the private demo that they're not allowed to tell us about at all <laughs> so oh man <laughs> so yeah there's there's a lot to this game so I, I whatever you have seen it's not even the tip of the iceberg with it <laughs> nice um so let me be said I've seen all of the gameplay footage released thus far, and it has only enhanced my excitement for the game. That said, I will be staying away from new gameplay if it comes out now before the 20th. The very beginning of the game is sacred to me. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. I know a lot of people who are just like, I don't want to see that intro portion. That's a good point. Actually, I just realized that I'm doing that, and I, I didn't even realize it until the, um, they said it here that's true i don't want to know the beginning i'm okay with some of the later stuff at the beginning yeah i want to experience that on my own yeah and i will say i think we have seen little bite-sized pieces of it thus far so mm -hmm. i think this was posted like on the official animal crossing twitter um so yes so times are getting dangerous essentially but luckily <laughs> 10 days to go it won't matter very soon <laughs> yes so Later, Jaeger says, in contrast to when we were star for information, I'm now trying my best to not look at every single Animal Crossing related video out there. I really want to feel surprised when I play it. Nice. That's that's another good approach. Yeah, for sure. I think we were starved for information and now <laughs> they're just overfeeding us stuff. So maybe it's better not to get overfed in some ways. Yes. <laughs> All right, we've got one more. This one's from Lampshade, and they said, I stated before, the absolute only thing that would definitely be a spoiler to me is the beginning sequence of the game. There was a trailer showing just that, and I avoided it like it had coronavirus. <laughs> there are a few other things, and my intake of New Horizons info has slowed, but I avoided the big one. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, like I said, they showed a little tidbit of it. So if you're avoiding it, don't look at their Twitter these days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So Sergio, do you have anything else to say about the show today? No, it's just very exciting that we are 10 days or less away. And that is still crazy and unimaginable, but it's real as far as we know. So we, we, very little to go. Yeah, I feel like I'm going slightly crazier <laughs> all, <laughs> all, all the time. Just like, I want it to be out and we've got to wait. And I 
And for some reason, I keep checking my email as if Nintendo would ever send us anything or say like, hey, come and try the game out. And I'd be like, yes, <laughs> take me there. <laughs> but no, Sergio, I haven't heard anything from them yet, but you will be the first one to hear if, I mean, oh. they let us go and play <laughs> yeah. it. But, you know, they, like I said, they have no reason to, <laughs> but maybe one day. So, anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of Haken, an Animal Crossing podcast. Don't want the episode to end? Well, you can keep the conversation going by Nintendo switching over to our Discord. Just follow the link in the description, and you can talk with other people who love Animal Crossing as much as you do, including Sergio and me. Want to support the show in a bigger way and get your voice heard during the show? Visit patreon.com slash ChewyPlaysNintendo. You can support our show with just one dollar, have an episode dedicated to you, get special access to a secret room on Discord, join in on the Haken Islander Corner, and even read a monthly newsletter covering all things Haken and Chewy Plays. We really appreciate the support and put your money toward great things on the show tuned in on the YouTube. The comments are a great place to let us know your answers to the Haken Islander Corner. How have you fared with spoilers? Avoiding well or soaking them in? If you dig what you hear, please KK slide over to that review section on your platform of choice. Let people know what they're missing out on. Haken is a wild production brought to you by Chewy, Sergio, and all of our patrons. We thank you for listening, and we hope you have a great week. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>